13 bridges children should know. Today I'm going to grind to go ahead and make this liquidy fast. Next up, well t technically first up, it's Ponce du God. The Ponce du God. This was built in Rome, ancient Rome, so there's not that much to be talked about here too. This is the might and beauty of ancient Rome as it goes ahead and it shows the greatest engineering products of the Romans. In fact, the, this, this does not even hold any glue at all. It's so perfectly cut together, the stones, that they perfectly match together, that they went ahead and, ta-da, they just built this bridge too. Romans need two things, flowing water as well as a bridge to go ahead and cross through the city. And so the Romans created these aqueducts, which do both. Next up, we go to China. Here we go ahead and go into the Anji Bridge. By the way, that's not actually how you say it by myself. Haven't found the actual Chinese name here too. Anji Bridge. This is in the Zhao County near uh, Shijiazhuang, China. It crosses the Xiao River. So, officially found the Chinese name. It's Anji Qiao. By the way, Qiao here basically means bridge, and this is just where the name comes from. And the river is called Xiao He, where the He here actually means river. And this is the most famous and as well as the oldest Chinese bridge in the entirety of Chinese history, at least according to this. This is one of the oldest ones to actually go ahead and survive the ancient days of China. Next up, we go to Prague, which is technically, according to the book itself, in the Czech Republic. And this is the Charles Bridge, because it was built, well, it's commissioned to be built by this person named Charles the fourth he's the emperor he was back then the emperor of the place in prague and he went ahead and told people to build this not a lot of people actually thought it would stay sturdy though however then later we found out it stayed sturdy and there are a bunch of statues on the sides to go ahead and decorate it which is awesome if you kind of ask me all right now we are in venice this is also called the Bridge of Trade. Why? Because, well, all those shops you see there, they go ahead and still sell jewelry. Jewelry, 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 jewelry. With all that jewelry here, of course, what you might be wondering, what is it called? By the way, by the way first off, it might look like it's in Venice, but no, I kind of tricked you there. It's actually in Florence. Alright, stop with the talk and tell us the name. It's called Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio... Ponte Vecchio is basically just the place where you go ahead and do things too. By the way, this two-story place that's built on top of the bridge, it isn't someone's home, it's literally the marketplace too. Here you can buy jewelry and things, as well as be able to do other things as well too. You can, if you somehow manage to get on the roof, well, you have a way more sturdier journey too. Also, I would rather stay on the bridge, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Of course, there's much more to really talk about too. Ponte Vecchio, and that's about it. There's not, there's no more that we can really talk about. Next up, we have the Starry Most. The Starry Most is inside Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's actually like a little connecting point between them too. One side is uh, Bosnia's, the other is Herzegovina's. He, it was created from 1557 to 1567 by the Ottoman Empire. It was supposed to be for Muslims and it was actually supposed for the Ottomans and their religions. They built mosques, schools, libraries, and other remarkable bridges. This one being the most remarkable one too. But then later, some people went ahead and, well, yeah, it stands over there and. There's been a war there, and then people went ahead, other Muslims went ahead and broke this bridge because the Christians were living there. And then, well, afterwards, people were shocked, so they helped recreate the bridge one by one. Alright, next up, we are actually in Venice. I've actually been here in my younger days, I still remember that time, and it's called the Rialto Bridge. Finally, some English names. That's... Okay. Rialto Bridge. The Rialto Bridge is actually based on the Renaissance bridges themselves. Venice has always been the city of waters and bridges. I mean, it's literally a city on top of the water. With that, of course, there's lots more to really talk about, too. There's bridges to connect different places between the Venice cities and the canals and other boats to go ahead, like this one, to go ahead and do things soon. Instead of taxis, we have water taxis. Instead of, uh, instead of highways, we have waterways. And instead of roads... Well, we technically also have waterways, but for humans, we have the sidewalks as well as bridges. Kind of reminds me of Avatar, if you, if you ask me. Not the blue people, Avatar. 
but the kind where people go ahead and bend the elements like water, earth, fire, and air. Alright, next up, we got to go ahead, and we are now, welcome to Bali! Paris, I'm not even, t that's definitely not a French accent after all. Paris, welcome to Paris. Here it's the Pont Neuf, and here the Pont Neuf, this is literally called the new bridge for Paris. Most people actually went ahead and tried to turn this into a walkway, and they tried to build bridges here, and in the bridge there was supposed to be houses, but then the king decided, hey, you know what, I think this becomes the center of Paris. We need a new motto on the palace. Ali! Now it's time to go ahead. Okay, let's stop with the accent. Now it's time we can go ahead and do things too. In the olden days, of course, there were a bunch of carriages that went ahead, and there was still enough room for shops on either side of the bridge. Of course, then of course, there's also these there's also these houses on the on the brinks of them, which used to be a bunch of other medieval houses too. And with that, you have got the Pont Neuf, a new time for Paris, very modern, if you ask me. Next up, we have to talk about this Iron Bridge, and it's called the Iron Bridge. <laughs> yes, that's actually what it's called, because it's the first Iron Bridge in the entire world, too. It only took a few months to actually get the iron created into the shape. What took, like, what took most of the two years was creating these stone pavilions, these, like, supporting structures, too. And then it only took a few months to actually create the bridge itself with iron. A lot of people thought that iron was weaker than stone and wood because, well, it just seems brittle and not a lot of people actually used it. But then we found out a way to create much of it and quickly, and we found this. And then we created this. A great monstrosity. With the goodness that it could actually stand up some floods. Which is great, and people started not fearing it. Not fearing to cross it. Alright, next up, this is the most famous bridge in America. It's called the Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge. Of course, this actually connects Brooklyn and um and New York City. With that, you can even see a lot of other landmarks too. I think that's the Empire State Building. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that's not the Empire State Building. Debunked. Alright, here it's the Brooklyn Bridge. And this is what a lot of Americans actually see, the first bridge that they kind of see. Because it's near New York. I'm assuming that there's not that many other bridges that are, live, that are near the Brooklyn Bridge. I've seen the Brooklyn Bridge myself. It's great. All right, now we are in the UK, land of the queen. Long live the queen, I would say, but too late. Long live the king, then. All right, here. Of course, this is called Tower Bridge, and actually, this is the Tower Bridge that you see in the nursing town. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down, London. Yeah, that nursery song. This is actually what it's called. In fact, it's also known as London Bridge, but uh, Tower Bridge makes more sense. These, this bridge itself opens to let these ships go in, and then there's this bridge on top you can go. Like it feel, It feels a lot like Harry Potter if you go inside there, except like 100 times smaller. Alright, next up, you might see the Sydney Opera House, and you might be thinking, Oh, it's Australia! Yes. In fact, the whole name of the bridge itself is actually called the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I've never crossed it myself, but when I went to visit to, and see an opera in the Sydney Opera House, I went ahead and had to see the Sydney Harbour Bridge, because first off, it's literally next to the Opera House. Alright, welcome to San Francisco, the bridge that was showcased in Big Hero 6. Alright, speaking of which, here we go. Firstly, this is the San Francisco Bridge, and in fact, the color of the bridge is called International Orange. The designer, designer Irving Morrow, wanted it to be a color to differentiate from the other places too. My dad apparently has crossed it several times in his life. I have yet to cross it myself, and I have yet to even go to San Francisco. Sad. This is called the Golden Gate Bridge, and it does not look golden at all. The sun looks golden, though. Hmm, I wonder if that's why it's called the Golden Gate Bridge. Next up, well, this is our last, this is our last bridge of the day. We are going back to France! France! And this is actually a more modern, too. It was built from 2001 to 2004. It crosses the Tarn Valley. It's a cable-stayed bridge. And the designer is Michael Verlogex and Sir Norman Forster. And they built this for the bridge of the 21st century in France. In fact, most modern designers and engineers are still working to build the perfect bridge. And because so many people own cars today, traffic is growing a problem. So bridges need to be larger and wider. And yeah, I wonder why they just use this road here. But hey, this is this is this is the Western Europe. <sighs> so, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed looking at these bridges, and I hope to see you guys soon in the next one. And so, until the next time I see you guys, Shana out, peace. Bye bye. Da 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 do 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 do. God bless. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. Da da da.